Good thing you learned the runes, brother. I think that's everything here. Wanna get going? as an ally for war. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. 
Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nidavalir. Fast. Then how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good. <laughs> you did it. Let's see what it draws. Think you can uncover that geyser from here? Yeah. Oh. oh, I think I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. Locks coming down. Look, there's a chain we can pull up there.
Is there something else we can hit? One. Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block. Yeah. That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. <laughs> Lad, if I may, what exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? Hmm. Let's hope Tyr's in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to Nidavellia, brothers. Hey! Towards. Oh. They're, uh, running away. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Could we talk to you we for... We don't want any trouble, please. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own, and hope they let us in. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear him. Every spy. Sentry! Hello. I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. Take your time. What is it, Dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. 
you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oof, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material... Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? <sighs> Patience. I find it's best to see these things... In action! Ah! Whew! There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Skialfa. Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of a lair. How was I supposed to know they were there? Red! Left leg! Okay, so, Derlin. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. At your service. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. What can I make for you? That belonged to one of the rebels, didn't it? You okay? Or deep in thought? I'll leave you to it. I'll disinfect my tools. Everything all right? Why are you just standing? Is it because I helped Atreus? Is this meant to scare me? 
Well, you should know it's working. Hey, what happened to all the armor we made you already? I used it. Well, maybe try to make this one last longer. I will not. Be safe! Another of Cavassia's poems. Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. The tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. A firebomb from the chief anti-Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp wit she had until she turned to less subtle means of resistance. You maybe... No! Thank you! kidding about the structural sensitivity excuse me but we're looking for nothing for you here i don't care what you want 
No food, no encouraging words, no nothing. Leave! This looks promising, right? Well, that's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You? Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. I think that's him. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off.
Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Really, your Sindri made it sound like Derlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. Maybe there's a boat we can use to get to Derlin's. 